This topic, you will learn the features as well as how to use the Online Help Center. Let's take a look at the Online Help Center. Now, after logging into the system, the Online Help Center can be accessed in multiple different screens, beginning at the navigation pages and you go to the question mark up here in the upper left, and it's the Online Help Center. You can also access it in any function, and we'll select countries here under common data. Online Help Center can be accessed in the same location. It can also be accessed in any function under the right panel under Help, and it's Record Help that you load. Record Help actually loads the Online Help Center. Let's go ahead and take a, a look at the different features within the Online Help Center. After loading it, as you can see, it loads a separate tab for that center. Now to begin with, you can actually see the information in multiple different languages. You can use the search window to search throughout the system for any answer that you would like. Let's take a look at each tab, starting with Home. As you can see, the Home tab shows history and any home items flagged as favorites. You can see the different history. You can add favorites here. If I click More, it shows me the history. I can clear the history or I can add an history item to my favorites so I can always be able to locate it or I can remove it. Now under Home tab, there are excellent how-to guides and tutorials at your disposal. The how-to guides actually load in PDF file. I can load the EDI, and it actually loads in a PDF file, allowing you to download this information. Very useful. On the other tabs here, there's What's New. What's New shows the latest version features and release notes. Now, to select the release note, you click the hyperlink. Some of the links have PDF files that you can actually download as in here. I can load the guide. It loads a PDF file where I can read all the release notes on this particular update. Technical Help has implementation and classic page and data sections. On the implementation section, it gives you migration, development platform, and glossary information. Under Classic Pages gives you the many features and development tools used for Classic Pages. The Data section has many options. You can get a table directory that gives you access to all tables and fields in the system that you can use for development and, and customization. Under Data Example, I can just select the Data Table, select the table that I would like, And I have everything associated with the table, including the fields, any type of local menus, that I can use this information for design, development, or customization. I hit back to go back to where I was before. There's product help as well. Now the product help screens is functional help divided by modules, including the setup module, which includes activity codes, default dimensions, general parameter definitions as well, as you can see here on the list. There's functional, which covers all other modules. Operating guides as well. Now to access, just select a hyperlink, select a topic you would like to search. You can also get the path to the function as well. If I wanted to select in common data, example, the module, and let's say I wanted to locate my customer details, want more information regarding my customers. I go to my BPs or business partner, and then customers. And it gives you all the details and information regarding the customer function. The other thing you also see is the path that you can use to get to the customer function within the system. Now, if I were to go to the common data, to my BPs and to my customers and look in the help section under function help, I would get this exact same information and I'll show you. But before we go there, I'll show you exactly the information you get. When you go to a function, you go to the function help or online help. It gives you a description of the function. It gives you the prerequisite information regarding that function. If you select implementation, it actually gives you the activity codes 
of the functionality and every bit of that function. Down below, it gives you each and every tab of the function you're in and a description of every tab, including all the fields within that tab. Now let's quickly take a look at information within the function itself. Let's say we're in countries as we are right now, that particular function. If I go to help and I go to function help, it gives that exact same detailed information, including the path to what the function is, a description prerequisite, and also every tab and field details regarding that particular tab. Let's go back to online help. Also what's available at Online Help is also How To, which gives you guides that open in separate tab that gives you a PDF uh, document to download for each and every How To. As you can see, common data, distribution, financials, and each and every module, including Sage X3 Cloud information. There's also tutorials. That give you videos on how to, including ergonomics, landing pages, mobility, navigation, personalization, and setup. To load, you just click the topic hyperlink. And there's also a knowledge base that covers issues in every module within the system. Now, within a function, we'll stay with the countries, along with the function help. And the record help, which takes you to online, is also field help. If I click in a field, and then I click field help, it gives me detailed information regarding that particular field. Another way to access the field information is click the field, hit Escape F1, and it gives you the exact same information regarding that field. With learning how to use online help, this allows you to not only easily navigate through the system, but gain the knowledge that will help you set up and design a system to best suit your company's needs.